Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to factory reset and restore your Asus Transformer TF100 computer to factory settings that's running Windows 10. So hopefully this should be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start this tutorial off by opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button at one time. Now on the left side here, you want to left click on the little settings icon that appears as a gear icon. And when you hover over it, it should say settings. Just left click on that one time. Now in the settings window, you want to scroll down to get to the update and security tile. And just left click on that one time. Now on the left side here, left click on the recovery tab. And now directing our attention over to the right, underneath recovery, reset this PC. If your PC isn't running well, resetting it might help. That's lets you choose to keep your personal files or remove them, and then reinstall as Windows. Left click on Get Started. So underneath Choose an Option, we have two options here. Either keep your files or remove everything. So even if you select Keep Your Files, which says to remove apps and settings but keeps your personal files, I would still highly suggest you create a backup to an external media source just to be safe. And the second option here, which will remove everything, removes all of your personal files, apps, and settings. So for the purpose of this video, we're going to be doing a complete factory reset. We're going to select the second option here. We're going to have a couple more prompts we're going to have to get through before we actually really get into it. So just be patient. So now you're going to be prompted if you want to clean the drives too. Now if you're going to be holding on to your computer, I would say just removing your files will be sufficient, which is the first option. If you're going to be donating your computer or giving to somebody else, I would suggest the second option. First option comes with the added benefit of it being a little bit quicker. So I'm going to select that option for this tutorial. And we will have one final screen here that says ready to reset this PC. Resetting will remove all the personal files and user accounts on this PC all apps and programs as well as any changes made to settings. This will take a while and your PC will restart. The left click on the reset button here to begin this process. It will take some time. Please be patient. Once some further explanation becomes required, I'll jump back in with the narration and we will go from there.
Okay, so at this point you're going to enter in some information. You're going to enter your country, preferred language, keyboard layout, and what time zone you're in. And then once you've checked all of that, you're going to select Next. It'll begin applying these settings. You're going to have to accept the end user license agreement. You can use Express settings to instantly get back and speed up the process a little bit. Or you can click on Customize right here. It should be the middle button and you can customize what you're exactly installing when you're resetting Windows 10. So if you want to disable sending input data to Microsoft, you can deselect that by clicking inside of these horizontal boxes. And you can go through and check them out on your own, but I'm going to keep most of them default how they are. And I'm going to select Next here. I'm going to select Next again. Again. And you guys are more than welcome to go check through and see exactly what you are agreeing to. I'm just trying to speed this video up a little bit. Okay, so at this point you have the option to enter in your Microsoft account credentials if you were previously using a Microsoft account to use your account. You could also create a new Microsoft account or you could skip this step and create a local account on your computer, which what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a quick little example for you guys. I am not going to enable Cortana, so I'm going to select not now. And there we go. We can see we are logging into Windows. And it should be a fresh install of Windows we are logging into right now. Okay, so we actually have an update waiting, but I'm not going to select that, so I'm going to do not now, bottom left. Okay, everybody, I'm back. So it looks like our Asus Transformer computer has been restored back to a factory clean state. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.